this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use advanced search feature on LogLogic LMI server. To go to the advanced search page, click on search tab and choose advanced search. When users log in for the first time, it's recommended to go through the take a tour section of the page. Resources here help users understand how to use basic advanced search features. Examples here helps users form their queries to look for data either using standard structure query language, SQL, or proprietary language, EQL. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will mostly be using EQL language to query for data. Up here is the search bar. All EQL statements start with the keyword use. This is equivalent of the select keyword in SQL. Next is to choose what to search against. Data belonging to certain sources is put into the corresponding data models in LMI's advanced search. If you click on the models option, you will see a list of supported device types that you can perform searches against. In this case, we will choose Microsoft Windows model to look for logs belonging to that source. Next to the search bar is a time bar. Users will need to specify what time period of data should the search be looking for. Selecting date range option will allow users to choose a specific date, hour, and minute range. If users want to quickly use a short form, time bar supports time offset variables, where S means seconds, M means minutes, so on and so forth. So users can simply choose negative one H, meaning look back an hour from the current system time for the logs. Hit run to execute the search. Once the search is executed, users will see three separate panes. The top pane indicating the timeline graph. Second pane being the data. This is where users can see the data they're looking for. In this case, we have some dummy data from both random application and a full bar company. Left corner pane shows a list of columns that are parsed by LogLogic for users to use against their logs. Users can minimize the timeline graph if they don't need it. Data can either be viewed as raw format where users can see the details of the logs, or you can choose table format, which will show data based on columns selected. Column names are indicated in orange, whereas values corresponding to those columns are shown in blue text. Click on any of these column values to perform various functions like group by, include filter, exclude filter, etc. Now let's try to narrow down our search with some filters. Let's say we want to look for data corresponding to foobar company. Highlight the text and perform include this filter function. Result set will contain only those logs that contain that particular string. You can change the filter as needed. We can look for more strings like the word random or the word HTML. The result set changes dynamically. Choosing an open in a new tab option pops open a new tab where the system constructs the query using EQL syntax for the operations performed by the user using the UI. Let's go back to where we were looking for HTML and perform a simple function like group by using the UI options. Let's choose the sys device type as the column and Microsoft Windows as the value for which we perform the group by function on. Performing a function opens results in a new sub-tab for the main query tab, so the initial result set is still intact. To further narrow down the scope, users can alter the timeline and focus on granular timestamps. The results dynamically change based on the change made in the same tab. Let's try to find a specific log entry that has the words HTML and 500. Usually, HTML 500 errors occur due to internal server errors. Using the same query above, simply add a pipe and add the next keyword 
In this case, it's going to be 500. System then looks for a log file that belongs to Microsoft Windows and then has the word HTML and the string 500 in it, resulting in further narrowed down result set. This marks the end of this tutorial. For more resources, please visit the following pages.